workshop. Yeah. And uh, so to start with, uh, what is R? R is a system for uh, statistical computation and also uh, graphics. They're initiated by two person uh, with their names with R. It's called R. And uh, it's these two, uh, these two actually from, uh, these two academic is actually from the Department of Statistics from the University of Auckland in New Zealand. They started in 1996, so it's about 20 years ago. And, and the R is a system uh, for a statistical computation and for graphics, especially it has very elegant graphics. Uh, if you want to use the graphic features of R. And it become a very popular language uh, for data scientists for people that are interested in research, for people that is interested in <clears throat> doing data analysis. Uh, amongst other things, it is also a programming language and it is uh, provided and it can also interface to other languages uh, and also for debugging purposes also. We also provide these facilities that you can using C++ and all that and link to Python uh, for R. Yeah. First thing we're asked, why, why do you use R? Uh, first, uh, the, the is, it is free. So you know to pay any single cents, especially for undergrads or, or researchers. Uh, undergrads, you know it to go for certain statistical software, you have to pay for it, uh, like SPSS and Stata. And uh, for, uh, for researchers, uh, probably your, your grant can exclude these items, you have to apply for grants. Yeah? So it, it, and because it is free. Yeah? And it is a platform for programming new statistical methods and uh, in an easy and straightforward manner. So it is just like any other uh, statistical packages, you need very simple commands in order to carry out certain functions. So, uh, that is the uh, advantage of using R. And it con contains advanced statistical routine that not yet in the commercial packages. So, uh, like the quite a, 10 over years ago when I attended the SAS conference, uh, they are not have a procedure on item response really, which is an assessment uh, uh, models. Because SES have to wait until there are sufficient person that, uh, that allow them to go into this, to build the, 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 the particular procedures. Yeah, so for R, as long as there's, there's someone that's interested in it, especially the academics, uh, they have interest in, in writing new uh, uh, worker packages, and so, so anything that is a, a some advanced statistic or routine, uh, they they will uh, they will likely to to use this, and then you publish it, and then you we are able to use it. Huh? So it reflects also the stage of arts of graphical capacity. We will show some of the graphical features in R later on, especially uh, the animation part. Huh? The animation part is only part of the R graphics, huh? and have grown in. Uh, very uh, exponentially into a very vast uh, community that uh, wherever you Google uh, or you go into discussion groups of the R, you'll be able to uh, uh, to get a lot of information. Yeah. And is uh, it is the scope and coverage is very large. Yeah. It, it range from clinical trial to finance, financial modeling to graphics. Uh, to natural language processing, uh, to clustering. And, and, and we will show more about this in, in the coming slides. Huh? And it's almost comparable to popular uh, commercial statistical package like SES, SPSS, and Startup, and some other uh, commercial packages as well. Uh, and like the, 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 um, the food industry, uh, the food uh, uh, authority in USA actually before that, they, they can only use SAS output uh, for, for their submission for the clinical trial and all that. But now they're accepting it. And it is more or less a common driven system now, but uh, more, more and more packages that is uh, add-on packages is moving towards the GUI. Yeah, so that is a trend of development in R. And of course, the most important thing is free. So, yeah. so uh, for installation of R, uh, the, uh, there's one document that you can uh, download and then we will not go through these procedures uh, for this uh, workshop. 
But that is a pack, that is a that is a website uh, that you can access to if you can download if you are Windows user, Mac or Linux. And that is the development of R. You can see how quickly it moved from one version to another. Uh, within the same month of June, uh, you have upgraded from 4.01 to 4.02. Uh, so it's, it's very fast moving. Uh, and the latest is 4.02, uh, which is uh, starting from sec uh, 22nd of June, 2020. <clears throat> or, <clears throat> uh, they call it this uh, CRAN, C-R-A-N, that is the Comprehensive R Archive Network, where we, we, we download all the packages uh, from this particular, including the base. Huh? Uh, we'll touch on what is base and what is icons. Huh? And uh, even once you download it, you get the icons here. Huh? Now it's 4.02. When the times I'm preparing is 4.3.6.3. And now I don't think I want to change it to 4.02. It's just a couple of, just two weeks ago. I think. Yeah, so I, I remain that. Now once you click on these icons, you'll get this. We'll do a, a, a demonstration on this of how to get into, uh, into the into R. Using, I'm still using 4.0. Yeah, to, to just get a feel of what, uh, 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 what is R about, once you download it, you get the base. This is, when you get this, the base will be there. Uh, the base consists of functions. Uh, uh, it means uh, various function that you can do all the things that, uh, all, all, the, all the modeling, all the uh, uh, functions that you want to do. Like you want to do a plot, you, you, then you issue a function called plot. Huh? So this is in the base. The base is actually consists quite a number of functions. But, but uh, this is because it's user-based. So user develop what are called the add on packages to add on the functions to the base. Huh? So the add on functions, currently there are 15,908 as of 30 of June. Yeah? So after that, so I'll show you how many packages Packages that is uh, currently by accessing to a web page, huh? and that is a command. After you you access to to R, you can generate these commands in R in order to go. Currently, what is the number of add-on packages that is available in Chrome? Huh? And for just to, to show that how many packages are there developed from let's say two zero one seven in March is about ten thousand. Now it's growing to about sixteen thousand. So it's six thousand in in a uh, in three years time. Huh? So average is about, about 100 overs per package, add-on package is written by our users. Huh? Yeah. So this is how, 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 how the, the growth uh, like huh? in, in the exponential as shown by the graph. So these are some of the add-on packages uh, out of the 16 over thousands. Uh, let's say the, the add-on package of cluster is do cluster analysis. Uh, this is a very popular uh, package to do data management, but it's more English-like type of uh, command is being issued. Like, uh, I say you want to mutate, that means you add, add in a new value. Uh, a foreign package is to add, is to read in data from, from other, the like SPSS, uh, SAS, startup. Uh, and uh, ggplot is uh, data visualizations that using the grammar of graphics. And so on and so forth. Huh? So these are some of the things that is uh, available. Huh? Uh, we'll, we'll demonstrate on the move vice is movement data visualization to show you how animals move around uh, using this visualization add-on package. Huh? We also show you the T-O-U-R-R package to explore the shape of high dimensional data. Huh? <clears throat> And Hi, Tae Kiang. Sorry, there's yes. a question whether, you know, this um, versions will be updated itself when we download it, or do we have to keep downloading the packages for oh, updates? Yes, uh, very good questions. Uh, uh, normally what I do is, uh, um, there, is a, there is a white page saying that you have, have you, are, you have the same version, like version 4. So what you need to do is probably a more simple step to follow in order to upgrade from 4.00 to 4.01. So another way is you can just download 4.01 and then you, you update everything. That's also, but that will take a very long time. So it depends on how many packages that you want to, to add on. 
but within the same version, I think they stay in the same directory. Let's say in the window version, they stay in the same directory. So they, they can access to what you have just uh, 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 loaded. But for add-on packages, uh, the users themselves might, might change as well. So uh, there's also commands to say update the new version so that uh, you can just let the computer run then whatever you downloaded, let's say you, you downloaded 5,000 add-on packages, you just let him run for a while. It, it depends on how many packages, add-on packages you downloaded. The more you downloaded, the more times you take to update. Yeah, so just to, uh, to, to show you that uh, these two packages, one is the move VIC, which is a movement of data visualization. They consist of 25 functions. I mean, one package, we mentioned about 16 over uh, packages, but within this particular package, they consist of functions. A function, function is something, a routine, that you are repeated doing certain things, like uh, you want to do, uh, you want to do, uh, doing a plot, then a plot, is a function. Huh? Uh, so, uh, so, so there are 25 functions built in uh, for this particular package called move BIS. Uh, and they also, normally a package will come out with the data. So uh, the one that developed the package, they also put in the data. So they will, you, they will put in examples as well. And to do that, just search in a website or go to this particular website for this particular uh, at on package. Normally you'll start from this until here, then you'll put in the package name followed by the PDF. It's the same uh, for, for, for the TOUR our package. Yeah, so uh, when you go into that, then you'll get a documentation. Uh, uh, okay, let, let me show you the, the documentation here. Can you see that? Maybe we could zoom in a little bit more. Zoom in a little bit more. Is that better? Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah. Let me see. Uh, uh, yeah. So that is the white, that is the white page. Now, uh, uh, you'll get uh, what is the package move BIS. There's the latest uh, date of the users that have updated. So just uh, a couple of months ago. And um, they'll give you a title and where's the version. So this is not the first version. And you, do you say, this will depends on version. Now it's 4.0.2. So you must use a version that's 3.5.0. So you no need to update the R versions uh, very often unless you want certain, uh, certain uh, update you have to use certain packages that need a latest version. Huh? Uh, There's the date and the description. And also they say you will, you will import from this. That means these are the existing packages. So there's a lot of dependency between packages for the R. Uh, that means this is really people that, uh, like ggplot2 is a graphical uh, package, uh, add-on package. Set is a base package is really when you load download the R, the set will be that. Let's say you want to do some means. So the me, M-E-A-N-S is the, is the function. So the set will consider all the basic functions, statistical function, logical functions. And you want to de de report bugs, you can go into this and so on and so forth. Then it'll tell you who is the one that actually is maintained it and the address as well. Uh, so. And they'll show you, these are the functions. So that has all the 25 functions. So this is the first function, uh, rather than this is a description. Let's say we move down further. This is the function to add skill to frame. Then you describe what is this function about, how to use it, what are the things that you have to specify your functions. And then what are all these, these are called the arguments, the frames argument, the frame argument, what these frame arguments means. And, and also they give you the examples. So you can always copy these examples and then paste it into your R and then you can just uh, know what are these uh, particular functions is doing. You know? So, and we go on to the next one. 
Uh, so this is another, this is another package with a different date, with a different purpose for this particular add-on and who are the person that develop it, uh, how, what is the dependency and then the functions. Yeah. So you can see that how, how the scope and of this are. This is just one of the 16 over And then each package, there is a lot of functions there. Okay, thank you. Maybe at this point of time, there's a question like, how do we actually access this help file or the documentation of this specific package? Like where do we go to for this? Now, yeah, that, now that what you're be, showing? Yeah, so uh, one simple way is you're going to Google. You just put brand package. Let's say uh, move B I S. There you can you can get the package here. So let's say we click click on this. You get the, a description of this package, and then uh, the the reference menu is this. You click on this, you will get what you get just now. This. Right. So not normally. Uh, uh, some some of the menu they will come up with the vanish where you give examples. So let me see uh, whether that one have the examples. I, I, yes. Yeah, so ggplot2 is a graphical uh, add-on package. Huh? So not only they give the reference menu, let's just click on the reference menu, then they'll give you all the documentation about this package. Uh, if we click on the next functions, uh, the vintage, let's say extending ggplot2, then you'll give a lot of um, uh, real life examples using data where you can actually browse this. And then the same thing, you can just cut and paste of this and then you generate this plot. Uh, another set will generate the scatter plot. Uh, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, so, so you can easily get a lot of resources from Google. Uh, okay, let's go back to the So we have uh, uh, we have go through went through the the these two packages, and we can see that documentation actually is quite available in the website. And um, but what does our coverage? There's a lot of things there. Uh, I just mentioned a few here. It, uh, you can do statistics, you can graphic, you can the area of experimental design, natural language processing, uh, sampling, spatial statistics do some classification like cluster analysis. We are in economics, econometrics. Uh, if, you are, uh, if you want to have some teaching statistic, there is something on teaching statistic. You are in uh, educational research, probably you're interested in item response theory. Uh, you, you are in uh, psychology, maybe psychometrics is there. Also machine language and so on and so forth. Huh? Uh, but you are saying that there are 16,000 over, then how I'm going to, 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 to get all this? Uh, so, uh, before going to that, we have some general procedures. I mean, first we install the package from CRAN. This is the, 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 the one that uh, we downloaded to how to install R. After that, let's say we are interested in one of the package uh, is uh, data management, which is DPLYR. Then we have to install the package, the app on package. And then we, when we, after installation, then we have to call the package in order to use this package. And normally the help function is this. You, you point, point you to, 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 to the documentation of this particular package. And then of course you can search from the Google, Google it, uh, package DPR. Huh? So let's, uh, inside there's one function. The name of the function is called record. Huh? And as long as you know uh, what is the function, you can just put a question mark and that, then you will know what is the, uh, what is the what is the uh, what is the documentation for this particular function? So, yeah, so maybe we'll take a look at how we get a tour to R, and then you have a feel of how 
how actually it works. So uh, normally you'll get an R, R here with the icons. You click on the icons after you install, you'll get the icons. Uh, let me just click on the icons. You can see, right? Yeah. So after you click on the icons, you get this uh, particular page. Huh? You get this particular page, and this is called the console. And then normally we will we will have an editor to to add, uh, to, to 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 store it, uh, the commands that we're going to run. Uh, another way is we can we can also do it here. Let's say two plus three is equal to five. Uh, let me see where I can. Do something like this to make it bigger. Yeah, we understand it's a little bit small. Uh, so ideally, I think uh, for this kind of demo, you can actually close the participants and the chat uh, function and try to open up. Yes. Ah, yeah, take care. We are seeing very clearly. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you. So I've changed that into a bigger one. Then, then increase that as well. So we have, um, we normally want to store here. We can also type here, let's say data that. Then you'll see that what are the data sets that's available in the base. Base that means once we up download the R, these are the available data sets there. Huh? Available. Let's say cheats weights. Huh? Then we can just put sheets. Then you display what is available in this particular data set. So, so when we tap in this, this one or that is the, this particular data set consists of one, two, three, four, four variables. So let's say we will do str. Then you say, oh, this is this is the structure of the data. We have one, two, three, four, four variables there. And it is uh, 578 observations there. Screen doesn't allow. Hey, yeah, and there are four variables. Normally, we, we uh, they are less likely that we want to type in here, but we store them in, in into a into a, a script file, huh? which is the R editor. Huh? So we can just execute here by putting Control R. Then it's the same thing as putting a data. It's the same thing as putting a data uh, bracket. Display what are the data set is available. That's how we illustrated with the cheat weight. Cheat weights, which is this one. There is a weights versus age of cheats of different diet. Huh? This, these are quite classical, one classical data set that researchers want to use it for. Measure what. Okay. Taekyung, sorry, there's a, a question. I thought this is uh, quite uh, good to address at this juncture. Um, they, I think a couple of them asked like, whether are we able to store our own set of data in R and then import yes. it in? Yes, uh, data set can be in SPSS format, can be ASCII format, a text format, it can be a CSV format. Uh, there are commands to uh, packages to read in all this form. Let's say package foreign. Package foreign is the package that we can we can we can read in uh, SPSS file. Uh, if you want to read in a, a, a text file, it's just uh, the the function to do it is uh, read csv or read dot. This is really in a CSV file. A CSV file, that means uh, each variable is separated by a comma. Uh, then the read tables is read in a text file, which uh, one variable to the next variable is separated by blank. Huh? Yeah. 
we will not going to cover this uh, because uh, the, the, we, we have conducted a data management before. Uh, so if you're interested in it, uh, we, can, we, can, we, we, can, we can see, we can come back to this. Uh. So these are the commands that, uh, uh, that, uh, that is available. Uh, that is, uh, let's say we have, uh, we, we go on to this. Um, these are the data set that is available in the base. But if we, if we because we have just, uh, I just run T-O-U-R-R before the session. So if we put data bracket, then any add-on packages is reloaded. They will also show what are the data that's available in this particular add-on package. Uh, so afterwards, we'll show you, we want to use this particular data set called the flea uh, data on measurement. Huh? Yeah, so I just close this. And let's say if we execute this by putting control R, then this is a data set. This will appear. When I say data set, it means this is base. That means we do not need to do add on, need to add on any add on packages. This is already available in the base. Yeah? So what this, uh, this is a very common data set that is uh, uh, used. Uh, to illustrate, uh, especially a graphical output. Huh? Uh, this is uh, uh, the this is a data set uh, that measure the sepal length and width and pedal width, pedal length and width of fifty flowers, uh, fifty iris flowers. Yeah. So once when you shake question mark iris, as long as you know the name of the data sets, then this our documents will will appear. Then you'll tell you where's the source, where you can, if you're really interested in the, in, in the reference, they'll give you a reference and they'll give examples. And you'll show that this is data set is on version 4.0 because I'm using 4.0.0. Huh? Yeah. Let me close this. Yeah. So question mark followed by the name of the data set or question mark followed by the functions they were interested in will take us to the documentation. Uh, just like read dot csv, you just question, put question mark here. You'll bring us to the documentation of this. So this is also in the base, the ut, utility in the base. This is read in a file format and create a data frame from it. A data frame is a R a data a data object that something like a, something like a spreadsheet of access. Excel like have a row and columns. It is called data frame in R. Huh? So they'll give the syntax of read tables and you can use CSV, CSV2 or uh, limited. That means it's limited by certain uh, character in order to separate rather than just commas. Huh? And so there are a lot of documentation here. You can just read through. There, there's plenty of documentation because each user that create an add-on package have to create the documentation. For the users. Yeah. Yeah. So the summary uh, for this particular data set called Iris will give us the basic set uh, basic uh, statistics for this. Uh, to say that there are four variables there. What is the minimum? What is the 50 percentile? What is the third percentile? What is the maximum value of, uh, for the five variables there? This particular data set for IDs. But issue a command or rather a function called summary. So R basically is a lot of functions being have to use that function to, to execute certain output, right? Summary is to give the summary statistics of this particular data set for IDs. And they'll produce what are the variables here and what are the what is the, 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 the key statistics for this, right? If we, we put in tables, then you say that the tables for species, which is this particular variable, there are actually three species being uh, collected with, uh, with 150 observation, and these are the name of the three species, and this is the number of species. Then if you want to plot, plot is a function huh, in base. So if we generate this, then you'll get a scatter plot. So it's quite straightforward if you just want to do some simple stuff. Huh? So a plot function specified what is the x-axis variable, what is the y-axis variable, 
for this data set IVs, then we will produce this scatter plot. So just now we mentioned that how many iron packages are there, then we have to execute this. Once we execute this, because we are, we are connecting to the, uh, to, to the web page, so we have to put in okay here. Uh, normally, uh, the old cloud will do, unless you want to access to a certain countries, uh, which is normally not necessary, you just put okay here, then you tell us currently there are 15,948 add-on packages. Then let's say a live car is an add on add on packages, but I think now they've incorporated the car into the base. So, so if we execute this, produce using the function of scatter 3D, we will we'll will produce this scatter plot for this particular data set iris with the pedal length, pedal width, and the sepal length. So you can see that a three dimensional plot will be created. So you can see how powerful is this R and it is free, right? It is free. Yeah? And this scatter plot can be just created with these particular functions, specified what are the three variable that store in this particular data set called iris. Yeah. So we'll come back to, to here, to the PowerPoint. So now you have some field about uh, what is, um, what R looks like. And uh, so we, 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 we'll, we'll talk more about uh, some of the procedures and what are the things that you can find uh, to, to get all the information you want on R. Huh? So we have uh, installation well, we're not going through. And, um, after, after that, uh, we'll, we'll go back to R to demonstrate using this package called T-O-U-R-R. Uh, normally, if you search for this R, it will give you a, a, a hexadecimal type of a symbol to, to represent, especially the newer add-on packages. Normally, they want to come up with a symbol of that. So you know that this is the R package that you've downloaded. You'll use these two functions to generate the two, 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 two animation plots here. Uh, this particular uh, data fee, which is stored in this add-on packages, actually store a uh, 74 fees and seven variables about these fees, which is uh, 21 of this, 31 of this, and 22 of that. Uh, I'm not in uh, bio, so, uh, <laughs> so, but that is the one that I searched for perhaps to say that these are the characteristics of these fees. Do you measure what is the weave of the first joint, second wear, the head between that, the width of the four part, the front angle, the width of the side, and so on and so forth. So these are the characteristics. Huh? And this characteristic will be shown here with the moving things here, and then you show the distribution here. Huh? And so first you have to install it. So that is the installation to say, we have to install this into, into you have to install only once. Then after that, we, if we want to use this particular add-on package, they have to call the package and then we generate it. Huh? Sorry, Taekyung, maybe uh, while you're talking about the variables, there is a question uh, um, asking whether the plot would change, you know, depending on which variables are input first or the sequence, am I right? Yes, yes. Let's say if, uh, I mean, for the scatter 3D, probably it's not too crucial. Let's say uh, for the plot, uh, this is the X variable and that is the Y variable. So if you just do it the other way, then the plot will be different. Uh, let, let's say uh, we, can, we can do that. Uh, okay. We just change the position. So if we, if we execute this, you see that the sepal length is here, right? So if we execute that, right? So uh, if so, normally what we do is plot. We are not so sure about the syntax, and normally I'm not so sure about syntax. So there, there's so many packages, there's so many functions. It's impossible to know unless you use it every day for certain uh, functions. Uh, 
So what you do is you just put, uh, once we know what is the name of the function, in this case, is the name of the function is a clock, it just, this will appear. And uh, because there are two, there are two, the base is using it and also uh, the graphic is using it. So uh, now we're doing it, it just, uh, that means there are two, it's very common in R that they are using back the same function. name. So uh, once you load the add-on packages with the same function name, then if you put question mark of that function, they'll tell you that which one you want to go to. Is what happened there. Yeah. So they'll tell you what is, is the general x, y plotting. Uh, so it's the x come first and the y come later. Then you can have a lot of other, we call it the argument, x, y is the argument. There are some other arguments that you can change. Uh, let's say, uh, change the, the default is point, you can change it to line and change it to some other things as well. And you specify the x, y labels. So there are a huge lot of things that is there. So just copy, paste, and then run it. And there's a lot of examples in the web. So. Okay, uh, Te Kiang, a follow-up question on this. Um, I think a lot of them are actually very interested to know how they can actually format their own data sets. Uh, whether should they start off with an Excel file first or, you know, what's the, you know, the, the workflow rather? Should they actually populate their data set in the Excel and then upload? Or will we be covering this the next session, actually? Uh, probably not the next session. This is under data management. But the, a simple way is, just stick to what your data set is and you see whether there are functions that is able to read in the data sets uh, into R and then you use it in R and you can store and you can store after you have transformed, let's say from Excel sheet into R, then you store the R into, into, in, in, into some form of R data sets where you can access it is, is easily. But, uh, but there's also no harm that you just remain the Excel sheet and then wherever you want, you just run it and read in the Excel set into R and then just run whatever you want. Uh, yeah, so as long as you keep all the documentation in, in the file. So there are various ways of doing it. So uh, you can always read from, let's say Excel sheet is pretty quite straightforward. Uh, SPSS file probably quite straightforward. But normally uh, these commercial packages, once they upgrade the new versions, then the, 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 the user that write on the add-on must also must also follow up. Lah. If they don't, then you have to start onto the, 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 new, uh, the older version. So sometimes it's, uh, uh, you have, let's say you have a, a SPSS 22, then yours is, uh, uh, is not, is the latest version, but uh, our do not provide a function in 22, but version 21. Then one way is to convert the 32 to 21 format and then use the R function in the 21 version. So, so there are a lot of ways of dealing it. Probably uh, these are version things is sometimes also can be quite tricky. So Taekyung, if like uh, the packages, I understand there are some that are actually returned by the, the community, the R community, you know, and, yeah. and they upload it. Um, are there some that are actually uh, the standardized packages that are from, from R database itself? Yes, let's say just now the read CSV and the read uh, tables is very, that is already enough. Uh, you know it to uh, read in the add-on packages, but Excel's probably not. Uh, um, the the tidyverse is probably the one that is a very good. Uh, tidyverse probably is a good package uh, to uh, to consist of uh, handling with data management, um, and uh, so so. This is written by uh, uh, this is written uh, by users, a uh, very famous user. I can't remember her, uh, his name. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, so uh, it consists of graphics, data management, text, uh, text manipulation, and all that into this particular package. So uh, pro probably is worth to, to visit this uh, particular on package. Uh, of course, there are some other packages. There, there are also packages that. Uh, but search the web, that is something that uh, probably will give you answers. But sometimes I also, I, I do not get, get the answer if the answer, if the thing is too, 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 not, uh, yeah, but most of the time you can get the answer. Most okay, take care. Is it okay if uh, I ask one more question or should we just go ahead with the PowerPoint slides and move on? 
Uh, how about the another question then? Okay, just one last question for for this segment. Um, I some of them are actually uh, experiencing problems with the installation of the packages. So, yes. uh, because it prompts them that the library is not writable. Not writable. Then that then is not. Uh, then you have to talk to the administrator. Uh, the data. Uh, the the administrator of the company. Uh, if NUS, then talk to the administrator that that is something to do with the security. Which uh, is, uh, probably is not too uh, within the scope of our, especially those working in the uh, min uh, ministry, they have a lot of security issues if you want to install R. So, you have to get clearance that you put in a white list and all that. So, that is a bit beyond the, the R scope. Okay, thank you, Tae Kiang. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's get back to the, I think we're running out about time. So after seeing that, wow, there are so many packages, then how, how are we going to, to, to get all the information? Yeah? Uh, one, uh, one way is to get the name and the dates of publication from the CRAN itself, where we download the R. Another good way is look at the task view, and then from there, you search whatever is suitable. And uh, there are some, some R documentation that's available in different form, in journal form, in book form, and also you can attend R conferences. And so, and we also point out, four uh, web page you can refer to. There are a lot more web page you can refer to when you search into Google. Huh? We just go to some of them, which probably is a good start if you are using R. Huh? And we'll go through the task for these three specific views, uh, just to get used, uh, just to get uh, a few of, of what this web, uh, website can provide. So, yeah. so uh, one is by name, that is the web page name. There's a web page for publications. Uh, I'll, I'll go through with you uh, uh, shortly for these two. And then before going to that, there's 41 hour task view as of this date because the task view will, will get uh, will increase over time. Huh? The, last, the last year is only 40, now it's really 41. So each task view will have some uh, have a content in it. Let's say a Benetian is about Benetian inferences. Huh? Those, Let's say we go to a cluster, it's about cluster analysis. Huh? Let's say uh, we are interested in differential equation, that is one. So this task view will record by uh, users that tell you what, what add-on packages to look for and a brief description of, uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the functions, of the add-on packages, so you can see whether you want to go into the, to the add-on packages to do them. Huh? So it can be have finance, you can have a genetic, you can have graphics, you have high performed computer, uh, you can have machine learning, you have a meta analysis on that, and you have, uh, uh, you want to treat missing values uh, with very complicated ways of uh, handling missing values. Uh, if you are, you are interested in multivariate analysis, uh, you are doing the text mining, uh, psychometrics, optimization, doing operation research, uh, uh, spatial statistics dealing with spaces, uh, survival analysis, uh, probably uh, in, in the medical fields, time series, and the new add-on is the tracking. So we'll, we also illustrate some one animation examples with one uh, package uh, for this particular new view. So. And all these 41 views can be accessed to this particular website web page. Yeah? Uh, okay, before we come into here, Let's go on to, to take a look at the web page. So this is the web page. Available crime by names. So in alphabetical order, let's say we're interested in this, uh, uh, anything that is uh, more familiar. I mean, I'm more familiar. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's in alphabetical order. So let's say we have uh, uh, I just click anything. It's, uh, a Benetian accurate prediction. Just click on this. Then that will appear. The reference menu will be there. Right? Yeah. So you can come into this in alphabetical order and search for it. Uh, it is a very long list, right? It's a very long list in alphabetical order until Z. Yeah? The, the, the 15 over 1,000, 16,000 packages is listed here. So alternatively, we can also go by the date of publication from the latest, uh, 
this is uh, yesterday. So if you refresh the page, probably uh, I don't know where today's uh, today had not not in yet. Yeah, so that's the latest one that uh, the users have add on to the list of the uh, 15, sixteen over thousands add-on packages, and that is from the the client. And uh, the grand task view, a grand trend task view is the one that organized by users into this forty one uh, uh, forty one. Uh, Topics. Let's say if we're interested in econometrics, then you just click on the econometrics, then you'll come into the econometrics white page. Huh? Uh, let's now go into the statistics for social science. I think there's a lot of FASS person here. So let's uh, so this is the crime view. The this uh, this white page is in, in the in the in the slides. Huh? So the main, this is the maintainer. You can contact him, and uh, this is the latest update. And this view, this is the what is stated up here in the in the web. Uh, they will have a description of what uh, uh, what is there, and they were classified then in uh, uh, when this is Venetian, right? This is finance, and so on and so forth, and then they're classified into groups. I say. Uh, for, for this social sciences, uh, people will do linear and, and generalized linear models. Then you describe, so a car is a package. Uh, uh, that is another package. That is another package for calculate sandwich. Uh, there is a, the G models. Uh, another, uh, this is to, co co to, to compute or multiple comparisons and so on and so forth. Uh, so they organize into topics. And then the same thing, also organized in topic is uh, uh, by multivariate statistics. So visualizing uh, multivariate statistics, they have to say, oh, what are the packages? Uh, that's how I say, scatter plot 3D and some other uh, graphical uh, packages. Hypotesting, one, two, three, they listed three here uh, to generate uh, or multivariate distribution. Uh, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. Huh? And then do have uh, linear models, some of the packages here, uh, projection models, and so on and so forth. We want to do uh, uh, classifications, I want to do supervised classification, I want to deal with missing values, uh, doing some latent variable uh, approaches, uh, like uh, uh, poly uh, polynomial um, uh, uh, latent class analysis, and so on and so forth. Huh? Yeah, and then after that, they will list you in alphabetical order of this uh, add-on packages that is listed up there. When you say core, that means this is normally uh, more reliable packages where you can access to, right? like cluster analysis. And then there's another one that is uh, more recently uh, uh, put up uh, task view what is about tracking data. Huh? And then the same thing, they'll describe it, they'll classify it, and then they'll list down uh, the packages. Yeah, so, um, so the social science, uh, this is just to put on all the, the main headings uh, from from this task view, so social science task view, you have linear and generalized linear models. Uh, uh, if you want to analyze categorical and count variables, these are probably the regression uh, models that is available uh, in, in R, but there's actually more than that. Huh? Yeah, this is just to list some of them. Uh, some other regression model, you're interested in nonlinear regression where there's an asymptotic uh, upper one. Uh, uh, using nonlinear regression, mixed effects models, quantile regression, and handling with missing values, and so on and so forth. So this is what is inside the task view. So you can just browse this task view and then uh, find the the the, the add-on packages that's suitable. But things like ANOVA actually is already in the base. So there's no need to go into add-on packages. So basic statistical functions are already in the base. So multivariate task views, uh, again, just now we say uh, multivariate graph, hypotesting, uh, projection, uh, scaling method, uh, uh, supervised clustering, correspondent analysis, and so on and so forth huh, in this particular task view. 
We also go through that the tracking. Tracking, uh, uh, I, have, I have really no idea about tracking. No? <laughs> I didn't know a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago. But this is what the tracking they provide. They say, uh, you do tracking of birds and anim uh, animals. Uh, then you have the pre-process, the post-process, how you're going to visualize it, how to describe uh, how, uh, what is the path they do. Uh, you can do some, uh, do some behavior pattern identification. Uh, what's the characteristic model it using uh, 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 Markov change, a hidden Markov change, and so on and so forth. It's all here. Huh? Yeah, so now we illustrate the, the one that is in tracking, uh, that uh, how this package actually do this, because it will take some time to compile this. Uh, it, it can maybe 10 or 20 minutes just to comp compile it. So uh, illustrate that what this package can do uh, uh, by using the lake contents in, in, in uh, Germany, this is how, how, how the lakes, the beautiful lakes uh, scenery looks like, and how uh, in, in these hours, back to another two hours later, and then back to 12, how the movement of the three simulated uh, animals that uh, move around these lakes. So, uh, this is what the package produced. You can see that the tree, tree there, this is how they move. Just to show that what actually our uh, uh, package can do this and where you can find if you are, you are dealing with animals tracking, then go to the tracking task view. So there's a journals here where you can access to. Where you can have another journal called journal statistical software. And the white, the white page is there. And there are books there, and increasing more owls series books is being published. And especially the Springer have the because they use R. If they use R, that means they'll print a use out here. Uh, the ggplot is the one that is a, a, a graphical uh, a graphical uh, a graphical package uh, do some advertisement here the, the ggplot will be a free uh, coming uh, a workshop in that if you're interested in this particular uh, graph, uh, uh, add on package yeah? uh, so they are, they are, they are, they are carry out the basic statistics using R. so this is probably a good one to start with all for everyone. Uh, you're doing interested in hand, uh, graphics or uh, programming, and um, also if you are interested in one particular topics of Bayesian, on the assessment like test equity method, and so on. Right. And you can attend conferences as well. Uh, the conference in uh, they call it the Use R, which is an international conference. Uh, now become virtual because due to the COVID-19. Uh, so, but it's free online now. So uh, there's a benefit of this. Uh, so you can go to this website. So uh, I think the, I'm, I'm not so sure whether the last one that I assessed, they haven't fixed the, the date yet uh, for the virtual conference, but now it's free and online. So you can go there. Uh, so, and now they're conjunction with another conference which is the Europe Hub uh, supposed to, uh, Conduct, uh, con, uh, uh, to, to have this conference on uh, Munich uh, on this particular date. But not, I think they combine the two and then it's free online. No? And there are regional R conferences as well, like the European R user meeting, uh, which is held on this date. And uh, they also have, uh, 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 now it's become online. And that regional, like in Africa, and I'm not so sure about this, but this is, uh, is on, they call it the unrepresented minority. I didn't read carefully on, on what it is, but uh, about who, who they uh, re refer to as minority. But uh, this is for minority who you use within the industry of Mexico, right? So another one is our studio. Our studio is a more, uh, I know you can download this as well. It's more user-friendly than R, where you can click in and have some outputs more, uh, just like uh, some other commercial packages you click and then get output. And they have a conference as well. 
Another one is EARL, is Enterprise Application for R Language Conference called EARL, uh, which is more for commercial use of R languages. And we have also have the VAR Conductor, is another, 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 another place for building the, the R, uh, more going to VAR informatic type of uh, 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 R package usage. And the GitHub is uh, what is um, uh, what is uh, people have not prepared to put their developed package into the crane, so they will have put it in the GitHub. So it's something is developing, and also maybe due to some other reason they decide not to put in the add-on. So you have a GitHub, uh, and so you can and they also they are already packages already in crane, but. Uh, they are still improving on that. There's the latest copy is in the GitHub's. Uh, they have some beta version or whatever. You can also uh, uh, download from there. Not only necessarily download from Chrome, right? And there's our blogger, which is another website website that you can you can get information about R. Huh? And then this is a uh, uh, our graphic uh, website. I'll, I'll go through this website, then I'll show you the website and then see uh, uh, the times is uh, still available, right? Yeah, then uh, uh, we'll go on to this website and then see how we, uh, we get a feel of how, how, how the website looks like. And then there are, this is the R graphic code book written. Um, so you can go to the website to get all the syntax about uh, how to start with the basic, how to deal with numbers, how to deal with string, how to deal with data input output will be here, and uh, how to benefit the data, uh, how to carry out uh, basic statistical analysis. And so, so, so. And uh, this website will have uh, our documentation to show you uh, what is the available packages uh, and also the functions uh, of R. And another package will tell you they call it the popular R packages. Uh, so now let's go to the web page. This that we have. Okay. So this is a journal of statistical software. Yeah. So you have articles on that. Uh, let's say this is a R package selecting a class of space time covariate functions. Uh, this, uh, this journal of statistical software tends to be more technical, but they will give examples as well. So if you're interested in specific area, you can just, uh, you can, you can just search in this, uh, this uh, journals. Uh, so you can get Things you want. Let's say if you're interested in this, you can just click here, you get the PDF. Right? So I'm not going to click on this. Uh, let's say if you want to have R, I'm not so sure whether you can this. Regression. No, they. Yep, they have some here. In 2017, there's a Gaussian a copula regression in R. We can see the abstract, you can see the PDF here, and so on and so forth. Huh? So it'll give the search output. Then we go on to the next website. And this is the our conference. Is the our conference a virtual is now a virtual conference? The conference will be free online and talks are available. Uh, so you can go to this website and then you can just join them over the conference. And and this is uh, is searching as well. Uh, not only in crime, also by conductor also give. And then I'll show the top five, top five author and the, new, the latest packages. Let's say we're going to do a count. Oh, fail. Okay, I think we'll remove them also. Yeah, so there's another one, the R blocker, uh, which is uh, another source. will tell you that uh, 
uh, obviously is one of the things, uh, uh, a new a new package. Uh, every day you go in, there'll be a new package. Uh, and so on. So they'll give some, some of the information here. Then we're going to the next one. Uh, this is the gallery of the our gallery. Uh, you can see some, some, some of the, uh, you can also copy this syntax and then uh, copy this syntax and put it into the R and then you'll get this. Uh, and then uh, you can always click on this also. Oh yeah, this is a very colorful one. What is it? This is a heat, heat map and then in order to produce this colorful heat map, we have to use ggplot2, we have to use G, uh, reshape2, which is a data management package, and then you issue these commands, then you get this here. Right? And uh, another one is the cook, the cookbook, which is, uh, is, is a books that, uh, this is books, will give you some of this. Uh, let's say we, we go into numbers, Generate random numbers. Huh? So if we, so this this is a box uh, that say if we put a random uniform one, you generate one one numbers from zero to one. If you say u i and f on four, you generate four random number that range from zero to one. So random generated from a uniform number specified the numbers of items you want to do. Uh, so this is useful for probably the engineering. You want to do some simulation using various uh, distribution. And uh, let's see this. We just refresh it. Two zero zero five four. I think this morning I put this two zero zero four five. You know it's five four. Okay. Yeah. So this is how many uh, package has been indexed and how many functions are there. So just now, uh, this, uh, this, in, this package will include the thing, if I'm not wrong, is the crime and also the, the GitHub and also uh, Valve Conductor, right? Yeah. So you can see that on average, how many, how many functions are within, you take this number divided by 20. Huh? So it's more than about hundreds of functions per add-on packages. Yeah? And the latest packages, the latest update is also there. And that is uh, the package for the favorite R packages. So you see that uh, this is a data import. You see, there's so many uh, functions that's included. That. So it, there's no lack of add on packages and function in R. It's a matter to find the most appropriate R functions to do the, the job. In this, in this instance, when import data, we have to have SPSS, Stata, and SES, probably that is one package to do. All. To search for it, Excel sheet. There's another package for that, but there's there's another Excel sheet as well that that read in the Excel sheet. So there are more than one package that do the same function of uh, let's say just to read in a Microsoft Excel sheet. Huh? And for data manipulation, I think uh, this one is a good one. Is uh, they say fast data frame manipulation and data basic. Uh, and so data visualization, we mentioned that ggplot2 is uh, based on a set of grammar of graphics to generate graph. And you're interested in this topic, HTML widget, then there's this uh, add-on packages. And our programming, that C++ uh, package development, you have to deliver the package and then as a user add on to the R community and, uh, and so on and so forth. Huh? Uh, hi, Taekyung. Yes. Yeah, so um, there are pretty a uh, number of questions here talking about the installation of R, R versus R Studio. Do you think yes. we want to address this uh, at this point of time? Okay. Okay. So uh, maybe uh, I'll just uh, scroll through the, the chat group. Um, so maybe would you like to explain to us what's really the main difference between R, R Studio? Uh, I seldom use our studio. Yeah, but the, the two difference uh, that uh, so far I know is our studio, if you are 
uh, has having some uh, larger data set, then our studio will perform a little bit uh, slower than our. And uh, our our studio is a very uh, is more. Uh, uh, it's just like uh, uh, the first you have the uh, win window doors, and then uh, after that you have the window where you can click, 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 and then that is our studio. Then if you issue commands, uh, let's say plot plus plot and x comma y, uh, that is something like DOS version. Yeah, it's more of DOS. like a simplified, a, a more user friendly in terms I of the think, commands. Yeah, in terms of commands and all that, but the R Studio. Uh, uh, but the thing is that there's more development in, in R that go into GUI. Uh, so, so, uh, uh, so, so that is probably some, some difference between R Studio and R. Yes, but, so somebody brought up GUI. Can you elaborate a little bit more on the GUI part? Yes. Okay, then uh, uh, we'll have uh, this uh, loon uh, and the loon ggplot. Uh, let's take a look at the, how, how this uh, look like. Uh, probably in the so take care. We we will have to actually install R first before for those who want to use R Studio. Then it's on top of it. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Just install R in order to uh, use R. Yeah. So this is what uh, the the Loon ggplot two. You can just click on here. You change the color. And click on another one, then you change another one. So this is what in the GUI. And this can be. This is in this package called Loon ggplot 2 Yeah. So previously it just generate and it's a static one. But now the Loon ggplot 2 will be able to to get in the ggplot2, which is a static one, and then generate something where you can just click and click and then change the color or even change the, 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 the type of plot. Okay. Yeah. Um, so another one uh, question that we had was, you know, um, if I'm not wrong, we will be covering distribution and multivariate uh, packages later on in the subsequent sessions. Am I right? And, um, multivariate. Graphics. Yeah. Uh, uh, probably part of it, uh, but probably uh, because, yeah, maybe part of it, it depends on how. But the three, the three starting one, probably not for ggplot2. It's more introduction to ggplot using various functions in yep. ggplot. If you are okay. animation, you're interested in uh, generating multivariate, probably we can, we can develop later. If there's there are there are there are groups of uh, uh, person that's interested in this. Yeah, because that will go be be more specific. Okay, so um, there's also another question on you know um not able to write uh error again you know when they install the packages, um so they are asking if we could uh go through an introduction on how you can actually install these packages step by step. Ah. Oh. The, the <laughs> I think the PDF is quite straightforward. Uh, you just follow the step, you, you'll be able to install. Uh. So uh, if you really have some difficulties, then uh, you can email to me and see whether... Yes, yeah, so maybe um, at the end of the session, if you would like to stay back and if you have the writable, uh, non, not writable error, then we can actually uh, address it at right to the tail end. So we will not hold up the rest of them. As yeah, well. sure. Uh, yeah. But the, the, the unwritable part is uh, can't, can't be solved because that has to talk to the admin. Uh, that, that one, uh, but the procedure for installation, yes, but not the unwritable. Unwritable is doing with the security issues. It's nothing to do with the R. Yeah, the R won't, won't go into security issues, is it? So because it is, uh, it is not a commercial software and the commercial, uh, uh, the commercial software company will, will normally will take care of this. But this is a freeware, so normally they don't take care of the security issues. Uh, it is beyond the uh, beyond my capacity, la. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, uh, one more question: Is there a session on multivariable, not specifically graphics? I don't think. Right. and multivariate, not currently, not in the, not in the plan, uh, yeah. but 
if you have, you can just write to us and see. Yeah, I think Dr. Tan is already feeling a, a lot of load, you know, <laughs> just by preparing one and a half hour, he has to, uh, you know, put up a lot. So we will try our best to cover as much as possible. Yeah, yeah especially if you're really interested in the research and have a research topic, uh, po po probably you can also talk to uh, 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 my research center, LSAT, so mm. it, and see where, what our research cooperation we can, we can work together uh, to achieve certain uh, certain objective, uh, 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 I mean, to to the lecturers and the academics. Yeah. Then some of them actually installed uh, the R by making a new library, and that worked for them. Uh, yes. But not sure how this uh, how you can use the packages to check if you know it's actually properly installed. If if it's uh, not normally if we uh, okay. Sorry to put you on the spot, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's alright. It's okay. Yeah, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I address that, you know, we are all learning together and, you know, there are things that are happening so fast in R that, you know, we cannot pick up, you know, um, the latest, but we will try our best to address as much as possible, okay? okay. Yeah, now let's say you have installed packages that, that once you, you, you put it into the console there, uh, uh, the list of the countries will appear. Normally, you just click, click on the first one that is on, just download from the cloud. No, it is go to a specific countries. Then after clicking on it, it'll be turned in red colors. Then uh, after, if you say package this successfully, unpack and normally that is a indicator that is okay, is unpacked. But that is only unpacked successfully during the installation. During run, when you're running the package to runtime, uh, some other errors might appear or might appear. That is not common because it is a freeware. It is not a commercial package. Uh, we, we, we pay zero dollar to it. So then there are some other messages will come up. Normally you say that, I say after you install T-O-U-R-R this package, then I say, oh, another package called ABC. Uh, you need to download that in order to, 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 to install T-O-U-R-R. Then have the install package ABC. Then after install ABC, rerun the tool, still have problems. You say it, it, Install another package, then we we'll install another package. So that is uh, the the problem we face with the freeware, especially R, where it's not a commercial package. Everything is done nicely. So we may encounter that. Then we have to solve it ourselves. But normally they will give indicators. If it is not, then the error message will appear here. Uh, after, uh, let's say installation. Then then say we want to use this URL report library. T O U R R. Then the error message say, "Oh, I can't run this package." Then there's an error message there. Cut and paste the error message. Google it. I think 90 percent you, you can get some suggestion. But whether you can solve it, uh, there's a there's another issue. So that is the the, the risk that we we have faced when we use a freeware. Yeah. Okay, in, in view of time, um, so I will let you finish your, your slides and then yeah, at the end of the session, if you know there's anyone who is willing to stay back to, to maybe consult you, then we will do so. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so, so probably to, 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 to round out and then with a last illustration on, on the run, uh, to, to see that uh, the features of R is that normally you have to use more than one add-on package to carry out your analysis. Not possible just to base on base or you just look one add on packages, everything will be worked out. Normally, you have to use more than one. One for data management, one to read in the data, uh, one to manipulate the data from a long form to a short form or something like that. Uh, you, then you have to go into a graphics, then you, you may want to load in a graphic package, or so ggplot2, but ggplot2 may not be satisfactory there. Load in another one for gg repel to, to arrange the text and all that. So normally you don't work on one package. Normally you do a few packages uh, in order to produce something that uh, uh, more satisfactory. And, and the, the issue is always to find the most appropriate package and function. That will come with experience. That also come with the, uh, how, what are the packages you, you, you want to use and what is the objective of carrying out the analysis. Of course, you can create your own functions and packages, uh, but that is a bit uh, beyond beyond this, this scope, but uh, the thing is that I 
I only create very simple functions if I want to, want to do certain things. Huh? Unless you're interested in developing your own function and you have a, some, some, some algorithm that you have in mind, and then you'll go for that. Huh? And there are packages to develop uh, packages. I mean, there are add-on packages to, to tell you what to develop and all that, and they are, they, are, they, are, they are doing that as well. And also aware of the interdependency between packages as just we just mentioned. Uh, once you, because one uh, a user that develop an add-on package, they use another package uh, uh, to, 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 add, to, to, add, to, to, to develop their own new, new functions. So there are a lot of interdependency involved, okay? Yeah, so, so, so sometimes, uh, that's why sometimes things get wrong. Then you have to reload yourself, re-add in, re, reinstall the add-on packages. Yeah? And uh, version upgrading is fast as we have just, we have just uh, illustrated. And uh, the new package is grown very fast exponentially. And there's, uh, there's uh, towards moving into GUI as well. And, uh, but of course, why we want, still want to use R? Because it's free, 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 free. Yeah? And it's growing very fast. A lot of people is using it, but there's a discuss, discussion group on that. There are people that uh, 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 you raise a question in the discussion group. They, uh, not everyone uh, will, will get a reply, but most of the time you may get, most of the time I think you can get a reply. But whether it's satisfactory or not, that's another issue. So. And uh, uh, you search for syntax in the words, normally you get solutions. Huh? Normally you get solutions, but not all the time. Huh? And the syntax for generating simple statistical model is really not too difficult. Huh? And um, there are use, there, there are use all books there. Uh, but there are some packages that's better than others. Huh? Those, especially those coded with core would be more useful. Uh, I mean, there'll be uh, less syntax free and all that. But each version is, is a new, uh, because the, the person that maintained the, the R is also uh, influenced by the person that's using it. So you can, yeah, you're part of it, is it? So you can see that why, why this one doesn't appear in this way, or why it shouldn't, uh, you should take into account this and that. If you feedback, then probably certain things might get changed as well. And uh, knowing programming language, uh, of course it will help because if you want to do more, complicated uh, way of handling the data. And of course, your, your subject areas is the one that, where you start to, to look for which areas that you want to go into. Uh, in, a, in, a, in a psychology, probably you're more interested in psychometrics. Uh, you're in medicine, you're probably in uh, survival analysis and so on and so forth. Uh, and it takes time to know the syntax. Uh, it's, and in, it's impossible to know all the syntax. Uh, just to browse through the AI packages. Uh, it take me quite some time to learn, right? So it takes time to learn the tools for this new R package. But it's a package that currently a lot of people are using. Yeah, so uh, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Madeline and uh, the support, and also uh, Suyin, there's a uh, the background. You, you didn't see her here, but he's, uh, he's a background that's supporting uh, uh, the, 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 this workshop, okay? And, I... Yes. Yeah, so um, I really appreciate uh, Dick Kang's time, you know, um, because like many of us, you know, we, we, we do know certain skills and we are actually looking and sourcing for people who are willing to share with the community. And this takes a lot of time of preparation and, and uh, they can actually, you know, kindly um, accepted our invitation to, to help us to run this series of, of workshop. Really, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And this is really on top of your, your work, I, I believe, with all this preparation. And that's why I always see you in the library, you know, borrowing the one whole pile of books on R. <laughs> You're always up to date. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Prof oh, Tan. Okay. It's, it's, it's been very enlightening and, and we really appreciate all the effort that you've put into this. Yes, uh, and I must workshop. say, you know, we have very good uh, participants here who helps us with the answering of questions. It's really about the, the spirit of learning together. Yi, you oh, know, yeah. you, <laughs> yes, thank you so much for contributing. Yeah, yeah. I, I do not know uh, a lot about R. Honestly, I learned R through Dr. Tan. You know, that, that's about it. You know, I, 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 use, I, I seldom use it for my research or, or anything else. Yeah, so um, shall we go to the next slide? Is there any other... 
Oh, yes. So yeah, that leaves us to this uh, last slide that we have. We really appreciate your, your, your feedback. And uh, if you have any questions, yeah, feel free to, to stay back behind. If you, you need to troubleshoot certain things, uh, we will be here for a couple of, uh, for, for about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, so if you have any troubleshooting, you need to talk to us. Yes, uh, please stay back. Else, uh, we are actually ending the session here. Thank you so much for your time. And it's really a pleasure to be with you today. Um, thank you for joining us. And we hope to see you in the next few sessions coming up. And we will try to weave in as many um, hands-on for, for the next few sessions. Am I right, Uh Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to thank uh, uh, Meg and also Suin for all the support. And uh, and you'll take your time to attend this our workshop. So we learn all together. Yeah, yeah we're learning it all together. Yes, yeah, very so, right. Uh, okay, and every you. day we are learning new things. <laughs> yes, um, the recording will be uploaded for for anywhere uh, students and staff um access. Uh, so it will take a few days for us to upload it. We try to process it and then upload it in, into uh media web, for now too. Yeah. See you around. Thank you. Okay. See you. Thank you.